There are things that happens in this world which are not accounted for. There are crimes that happens in this world which the justice system has failed us on. There are certain things which we need answers for and those answers we do not get. Allow me to say that when we look in the future, in the near future, we know that someone who is greater than the justice system of this world is going to come. Someone who is greater than the world shall come. And Psalm 68 verse 5 says to us, He is a father of the fatherless. He is a defender of widows. Is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity. But the rebellious dwell in a dry land. And when you go to Exodus 3 verse 13 to 14, it says he is Yahweh, the name which is connected to him as becoming one. Therefore, the father that I'm talking about is a father who becomes one through his name. He becomes one. He becomes a father to the fatherless. He becomes a defender to the widows. He becomes that which you want him to be. He is going to come. For in a world like this, we need a father. A father who can stand as a church. A father who can stand on our side. A father who can stand as a lawyer. That's the father that we need in these dying times. A father who shall comfort us. A father who shall say, Come to me, all you who are heavy laden. Even though your sins are like scarlet, come to me, all you who are heavy laden. We need a father in times like this. A father that we can find hope in. A father who can comfort us. A father who can say to us, come to me as you are. Because he is a father who is not against us. He is a father who is not like the fathers of this world. Because fathers of this world associate themselves with the riches. Fathers of this world associate with themselves with status. But this father is a father who stands with the poor. He is a father who is always on the side of the oppressed. The oppressed who cannot have a voice. He is a father and a defender to those who are defenseless. It is when we look using the lenses of the eschatological hope that there is a father. A father who shall come. A father who shall vindicate the things that were done to you. The things that were done to you and me. By the world, he is the father that is going to stand and say, Well done, my faithful servant. Well done, my faithful servant. He is the father that is coming for you. A father that is supposed to be comfortable in. A father that is there for you. A father who is for you, not against you. He is God with you. For that God is coming for us.